Number two of um, 1977. Close. 76. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, do you know how to tie a noose? I completely forgot. Just tie a top line hitch. That will work about the same. How do you tie a top line? <sighs> Weren't you ever a Boy Scout? Here, go keep a lookout. I'll tie it. Guys, listen, I don't know what it says. Your degree says otherwise. My degree was for national languages. I'm not even sure that is a language. Wait, 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 wait. I might know a guy. Where is he? He's in Miami. He moves place to place, but he always stays in busy urban areas. You'll find him there. I'm going to need a name. He goes by the name Mustache. I wonder why. Catch you later, Todd. Wait, you can't just leave me like this! So long, and thanks for all the fish. You know, I'm kinda tired of wearing these dorky clothes whenever we go on these jobs. Listen, I thought we already talked about this. We can't go out wearing black suits like we're some kind of agency. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hold on, wasn't that our exit? We're not going to Miami, Russell. Um, why not? We need to pick up a certain person first. You don't mean Ringo, do you? Yeah, good luck. You know how he is. After what happened, I don't think he'll even come with us. And that's only if we find him. Oh, I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. You know where he lives? I like to keep my tabs. You and your tabs? This should be it. Huh, looks like he's not here. Well, where else would he be? Oh, it's Sunday morning. The church. The church. Why didn't I think of that? Did you forget he converted to Christianity or something? No, it's just, well, he's not the same thug he used to be. Hello, Ringo. Come to repent, have you? We're here for you, Ringo. I don't fear death. An early trip to heaven sounds fine to me. We're not here to take you out, nor to bring you back into your old life. We just need you to be our guide. No one knows Miami like you do. My past lies there. I can't go back. Come on, man. Do it for us. Think of it as a vacation. A vacation to the most crime-ridden city in America, with two very dangerous felons to kidnap some fellow who can decode a message for us. I really am gonna kill you someday, you know that, right? Alright, fine. But just this once. If you try and get me into any trouble, I'm heading right back here. Deal. Let's go. Um, Ringo, let's go. The service isn't over yet. Uh, we're low on gas. One minute. So, why did you start being all religious anyways? Well, when you know there's a perfect, almighty being out there, and you've done the kind of things I have. The only right thing to do is to bow down and seek forgiveness. The weird part is, he offered it by taking my punishments, long before I was even born. The religious stuff is just to thank it for that. Yeah, well, that's... that's nice. 
<clears throat> Good for you. Alright, idiot. Let's go. Welcome to Miami. Hey, my wallet! <laughs> Welcome to Miami. Stop! There are other ways to deal with him. He's heading to the casino. Hold my gun, Ringo. I'm going. Well, have fun. I hate casinos. And you're coming with me! Fine, but I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> we live in a society. Yep. I'm in so much debt right now. Hey, did you find the pickpocket yet? No. Ah, that sucks. You don't think that could be? Mustache. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! Do you happen to go by the name of Mustache? Oh, so you think that just because I have a mustache, my name is Mustache? Ugh, people are so primitive these days. Listen, you must have been called Mustache at least a few times in your life. Well, not really. Do you think I should call you yeah, Claw right? Hands just because you have Claw Hands? Now that's just dumb. Listen, it has to be you. I'm telling you, I'm not. Hey, I uh, hear you're looking for a guy named Mustache. Good riddance. Wait, you know where to find him? You're talking to him. Your mustache? Give me a break. No, I swear I'm the guy you're looking for. Give me one good reason to believe you. Well, what have you got to lose? Fine, you better not be lying. For your sake. Look who's back. Yeah, and we think we've got someone of a certain value. What are you doing? I'm making a call. Yeah? Alright, Todd. This is Clint. We found a guy who claims to be Mustache. Now I have a question. Why would he be called Mustache if he doesn't have a mustache? It's because his first one grew and when he was like nine or something. I, I don't know. I hate my job. I hate it. Alright, Mustache. So I take it you can decode what's in this envelope? Most likely, yes. Alright, well get on with it. Now hold on a minute. Whatever's written on that paper has to be important and classified, if you guys are willing to go through all this trouble for it. I can't just go and read it aloud in the middle of Miami. So what do you expect us to do? We head to my place, just you and me, in a room, no recording, and no guns. No guns? I don't do well with bullets. Alright, Mustache, let's get this done with. It might take some time. Deciphering this stuff is not easy. Take your time. Just get it right. Hey Ringo, you said you didn't want to go to Miami because your past lies here. What exactly did you mean by that? I mean, I don't remember doing many jobs here. We're not going to talk about that. Hey, Clint.
Clint gave you his gun, right? Oh, no. Not again, Clint. Not this time. Okay, Clint, I've deciphered. What does it say? Before I tell you, I need to know something. Where did you get this from and why do you need it deciphered? Tell me what it says. What's written on this paper has the potential to alter the economy as a whole. Tell me what it says. Listen to me, I can't tell you. Whoever has knowledge of what's on this paper is not only a danger to society, but in danger as well. I'm giving you one more chance to tell me what it says before I redecorate the walls. Clint, what are you doing, man? Russell, not now. I'm handling this. Clint, put the gun down. You two get out of here before I... Hey! Clint, if you shoot him, we may never find out what's written on that paper. Clint, Russell, put down your weapons. There's no point in it. What do you mean? I unloaded both your pistols while you were in the casino. The only one here with a loaded gun is Mustache. Why, you? No, what are you doing? Hey, stop! What's written on that paper should never be released into the world. As long as I know what it says, I won't be able to live. There are other ways of figuring this out. I don't know why we didn't just start with that. Great. Now that that's sorted... Let's go. What about him? Call 911 and tell him where he is. They should take care of him. Well, that was... fun. Yeah, well, Ringo? Yeah? I think I'm gonna try out this Christian stuff. The thing is, I, uh, don't really know where to start. That's awesome, man. Though I'm still learning myself. I'd, I'd be glad to help you along. There's just one more thing I have to do. The cops are on their way. We should leave Miami now. Yeah, well, listen, Clint. I'm not going back with you. Not this time. I can't live a lawless life anymore. This is Ringo's doing, isn't it? No, I decided for myself. Fine, but don't ask for my help when the world realizes everything you've done in your career. So Clint, you can join me, you know? You'll always be welcome. Looks like there's no hope for Clint. Well, I'm afraid that's just the way it is sometimes. Alright, well I'm gonna go rent a car to drive back home. There's no way I'm driving back in a hippie van. If everybody's wrong Young people speak in their minds Are getting so much resistance From behind Every time we stop Hey, what's that Mark sound? my words, Ring. Look what's going down What a field day for the heat A thousand people in the street Singing songs and carrying signs Mostly say hooray for our side It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on Man, come.